Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz and welcome to the demo of Keiko, an RPG maker horror game that orbits around an as amnesiac person, I've been trying to do that for four times now, who is unfortunately suffering through a coma and within our dreams, we should be able to unlock the memories that are deep within Keiko this awaken now. Yes, I've tried an introduction four times because of the word amnesiac, it just couldn't quite come to me. Lovely controls on the screen, that's lovely to see for new players and old players. Experienced players, I mean. Movement with the arrow key, Z enter, confirm, interact. X and escape is to decline whatever it is you're doing or go to the menu. Hold shift to run and alt enter is to toggle full screen, we won't be doing that. This game contains sensitive material not suitable for everyone. If you're unco uncomfortable with any of the following, it is not suggested you play. So we've got body horror, mention of suicide, blood, death, and chasing. So there's going to be chase scenes in this game. My name is Keiko, I think. No one has ever told me my name. It's just always been Keiko. So I call myself that. This is my room. Ah, black and white. I've been here for as long as I can remember. Months, years, decades. I'm not so sure myself anymore. All I know is that I've been the only one here. It's quite silent and boring. I don't even think I can leave. For as long as I've been here, I do the same activities. Reading, sleeping, drawing, writing, thinking. I don't have to do any of it, really, but it helps me pass the time. Where do you get the paper to do all the drawing? Back to it, I guess. Gosh. Status. Items. Status. So... Who are you talking to? Myself. So we must be able to save somehow. A poster of a rabbit. Where did you get this? No idea. Let's look at these bookshelves one by one. One by one. Book lines with shelves. You need to remember the contents word for word. Uh, the same there. The last one will be a bit different. A book is missing. Uh, uh, that one's a bit different, but there's no additional words. Hmm, bear. A stuffed bear is very soft and huggable. It's empty. A chessboard. <laughs> you only know how to beat yourself at it. Oh no. Don't say that. Very soft. Very cuddly. Very pushy. It's an empty drawer. And some fake houseplants. Large so, large flowers of some sort. Cool. Maybe it's for bed that's a save point. Hold on. I mean, that's where we go every night to save our progression. You've never been tired, so you just sleep for fun. Hmm. So it is some sort of purgatory in a way. It has some stuff in it, but none of it interests you. So what be the story behind of how you became amnesiac? It has some stuff in it, but none of it interests you. But obviously this world is conjured up by ourselves, so what would that entail? A flower? Ah, the loose flower on the floor is our save point. Large flowers of some sort. You can download this game, there will be a link in the description below where you can um, find the Etio page and download the games for yourselves so you can experience this adventure for yourselves. Hello. I call this the Great Beyond. Beyond this glass is an expansive white horizon of nothing. As far as I know, it goes on forever. From here is a serene view, but that's all. There's nothing beyond that's worth anything. Why is it even here? I don't know. It could be a gateway to getting to the other side. A painting of yourself. How did these paintings come about? Did we draw them there? Well, we as the protagonist the one who did this. This is the art room. There are countless drawings of either myself or what I've read in books. Whenever I got bored of that, I'd write too. Now, however, I've run out of paper, so this room is useless. Ah! Oh, dearie me. This is where you draw and write. 
this over here is where you read and acknowledge the information from the books. This shelf used to be empty, but now it's full of art. Your so full of all of your art and writing. Okay, that makes more sense by me. All right, so one of these must be different of sorts. Window. There's just a wall behind it. Oh, dearie me. Ah, item usage and saving. Read it. Item usage is very simple in this game. Once you have an item, you don't have to worry about selecting it to use it. It does it automatically. If you're at the right place at the right time, the item will be used automatically. When you receive an item, a different sound will play corresponding to whether the item will be used again and used again after its initial use. Okay. As for saving, interact with a four leaf clover. They're a symbol of good luck. As there is nothing bad that can come from saving your game. Exactly. Aside overriding data that you may not have realized that's important. So it's best to save in other places. Also known as empty slots. Used to be empty for the stuff. So uh, inside of all of your grey markers, they all faded away as time transpired. Hmm. So then, I suppose I should just. What was that? A hole in our logic. A key. Pick it up. Yes, please. Picked up the black key. Interesting. What's this for? That is a hole in a wall. Putting your hand through reveals it to be only be paint, though. Oh, someone's put a portrait over the window. Hmm. Gray markers, excellent. Oh no, my painters have gone. Oh no, after we picked up the key, that happened. Ah, uh, another one. So what this game is trying to say is that we're no longer the author of this world or something? Because our paintings have been erased? Hmm, I don't remember there being any locks in here. Are there? Could possibly be one. When did you get this? No idea. Oh. There seems to be something underneath a bookshelf. Move it? Exactly. We'll do that. We have found a hole in our memories. There was a floor hatch. There's a lock on it. Try opening the lock with a key? Absolutely. The hatch has been unlocked. Then we shall... Do, 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 Make a save. Make a save. We must always make a save and preserve our progression. You may never know what happened in the future. So that's why you must always save your progression at all times. Even the most minute of changes must be saved. Must be acknowledged, my eyes. Hello. How you all doing? Are you awake? I think so. Uh, maybe not, actually. Let me help. Oh, hi, hammer. A hammer. We'll pick up the hammer. I think I know where we need to use this. So, what was that that just squeaked to us just now? <laughs> Let's go and use this hammer to smash our way through there. Oh, shatter the glass. I thought that was going to be the case. Shatter the glass. Come to me now. How unsettling. Yes. Who wouldn't have thought that it would be unsettling now? otherwise? I post over rabbit when she get this. I have no idea, but for now, let's just play chess. You already know how to beat yourself at it. Let's go and see what is going on with this goddamn huge mirror. And there's somebody on the other side there. Who are you? Somebody else comatized? H Hello? He doesn't like he can hear you, but he smiles at you. Who? This is another person. How did he get here? Who is he? Hi. You seem like a rather, rather swell dude. He's waving and trying to say something, but I can't hear him. The glass is blocking the sound. The person searches for his jacket. A black marker? Could he be the one who... He begins to write something. Are you Kaiko? I think I am. 
How can I reply? Hmm, we've got some... We've got some grey markers over here in this room. Grey marker in here. Yeah, we'll take it. We picked up a grey marker. We are neither white or black, but we are somewhere in between. So we have... Hmm, I guess I'll have to write backwards for him to read it correctly. There. Uh... <laughs> no, are you okay? So that says you... You know my name. Something. I can't read that. No, are you okay? Ah, so it wasn't him. Such a strange question for him to ask. Could there be someone else here then? I don't think I'm in danger. Are you happy with where you are then? Should I not be? Let me rephrase that. Don't you want to leave? Do I? Can I? I can help you escape if you want. There's actually why I'm here. How do you know that though? How? Who are you anyway? I'll explain to you time. Let's start by finding a way to get you over here. A way over there? To the great beyond? I... I have a hammer. Well, I have this hammer, I guess. You have a hammer? That's perfect. You can break the glass that way. Just be careful. And I'd say stand back as well. Are you okay? Is there something holding you up? Holding you back? I'll give you some space. Exactly. We need the space. I'm about to leave everything I know behind. I... I wonder if I'm really ready. I suppose it's too late now. He's waiting on me. I could always come back. Right? You ready your hammer? I guess I'm going. There's a big old smash there. Whoa, hey there. That was quite an entrance you made. I'm sure you have plenty of questions for me. But right now we need to start leaving. There's a door behind here that I came from. And we could take it back. Ah, I suppose there is one. I haven't seen it before. No time to waste. Come on. Oh, there's a four-leaf clover bear as well. Hey, is something wrong? H who are you? <laughs> That's an interesting accent you have. I haven't s spoken in a long while. Oh, I see. You'll get used to it, I'm sure. Well, the name's Kai. Cortex Artificial Intelligence Hashtag 2773 Really, but Kai is much less of a mouthful Kai What are you? Well, this might come as a bit of a surprise to you But I'm an extremely advanced artificial intelligence program Artificial intelligence? Like a robot? Well, yes and no I mean... I guess I am, but I'm also supposed to develop a human personality, too. Don't you think robot is a rather bland term? It's got the stigma to it and everything. I'm definitely not supposed to be that. <laughs> Just think of, like, the Terminator. What a complete turnaround of a personality. Did I strike a nerve or something? Whatever. He's just a robot. Oh, Kaiko, don't be like that. Either way, I was embedding in your brain to help you. Huh? Help? When? When was this? And if he's in my brain, how can I see him now? Well, you see, you're actually in a coma right now, Kaiko. You have been for nearly a year. And obviously humans in the real world are trying to develop a way in order for these advanced programs to be able to be imbued into the brain so that they can then find the comatized spirit of the individual so that then then there is a way of being able to escape from the coma because i'm not sure of like what's the longest case that a coma has been 
when somebody's been able to then wake up from that coma. A, a coma? Yes. I don't know how, unfortunately. All I know is that I have to help you wake up. That's my job. We we'll were going through this dream. Once we reach the end of it, you'll awaken. Think of me as a buddy to help travel with you. Is it really that simple? And am I really in a dream? I'd love to stand around and explain it all to you, but I don't think it's safe to stay here. We've distributed a part of your dream by disturbed a part of your dream by breaking the glass, which may have consequences. You mentioned someone vandalizing your basement too, so I doubt we're alone here. It could be unsafe. But wait, uh, how can I trust you? Huh? Well, because because I've analyzed and picked up the personality traits from people in your memory that you've statistically trusted. And because I also took the appearance of someone in your past you've also found trustworthy to make the fully trustworthy guide. Someone I know, but I don't recognize him at all because you're amnesiac. Am amnesiac. I always struggle to say that word. Do you trust me? F for now, sounds good. Let's get a move on then. So let's now save at that. Good. It's your dream. I'll let you lead the way. I'm just here to help. Okay, go through the door. Absolutely. We're right here. Alright, I'll follow you. There could be like some sort of very, very intertwined secret behind us. That we could only access by going back. It's so dark in here. I can't even see my hands in front of me. Oh, sorry if I startled you. Wanted to make sure you're not gone. Ah, I see. Hey, I think I see the exit up ahead. Really? I don't see anything up there. And the story begins between these two. Ah, here we are. A creaky door. And it's... Ah, this is lovely. This is... Colour. Phew, what a nice change of pace. Way better than that bleak living space you had. This is totally different from where I came from, though. Wonder what happened to that. Is this... Colour? Huh? Well, yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. I guess it would be if you haven't seen it before. But you have, right? No. N not that I can re recall. Really now? Well, you'll be seeing it for the rest of this ride now. Unless, of course, we get caught up with a nightmare. Huh? A nightmare? Yeah. Creatures in your mind that don't want you to wake up. They disappear if you do. So there's no doubt they'll try to stop us. From my own mind? So I've created them myself. Bad memories. So what do they look like? I don't know. They're different depending on the mind that makes them. They tend to lack colour though. So we can work with that if we're, we are unsafe. Safest route would probably be just to stay on our guard if we ever come across anyone. I see. You shouldn't have to worry too much about them, though. If you have an untroubled mind, you won't have any many nightmares. Troubled? I wonder if I have a mind like that. You may never know. A large, looming oak tree. The branches seem to reach to the heavens. And it remains silent. Almost as if it is merely observing. Remember that tree in a witch's house? One that just observes <laughs> and tells you to be silent. Hey, even the saves are now different. Lovely. So we've got three different avenues here. One of us is going to be a puzzle in each avenue that we take. This is what we call wood. Standing out from a shelf of botany books is a picture book. Read it, absolutely. Ah. There once were a pair of twins, a brother and sister, who did everything together. That's really cute. The boy was called odd and strange by others, but his sister loved him all the same. 
The duo were best friends despite the boys' differences. But if one was bullied, the other would stand up for them. If one was sad, the other would comfort until they were laughing. Truly, they were inseparable. One day, however, the brother fell ill. He had to live in the hospital, which made him lonely. His sister made sure to visit him every day. What a good sibling you are. But he couldn't go out and play with her like they used to. The sister tried to cheer him up, but he wasn't getting better. She saw it in his face. No doctor had to tell her. First, he lost the happiness in his eyes. They were devoid of hope. He faked his smiles, only trying to cheer his best friend up. Then he got paler. He had stopped eating. His sister begged for him to try and get some food down, but he refused. Oh no, it's cancer. Then his hair went. The brother insisted he chose to shave it off, but the sister knew there was more to it than that. No one explained to her what happened to him. So all she could do was sit back and watch. The brother she once had left long ago. What remained was a husk of a person. She didn't like thinking of it though. She kept telling herself he would get better. That's all he can ask for. But he died. The girl cried for weeks. Her other half was gone forever. What made her most upset was how he died. It wasn't his physical illness, but rather a mental one. Somehow, he had gotten a hold of some bleach and drank it all. Despite the searing pain, the doctors didn't have a clue on how he managed to get hold of it. And yet he did. Knowing he chose his death ruined the girl forever. No matter how hard she tried, could she not give her brother a reason to live? Were the happy memories the best friend shared meaningless? They're not meaningless at all. Those happy memories will always be there with you. No matter how horrific the pain is. And so, the sister ne never became whole again. She tried to live on as before, but so much was beyond lost for her. The end. Wow. So that must be Keiko's sister then. Or at least somebody who is related to Keiko. Like a brother slash sister slash sibling kind of relationship with another person. You know, close friends. Between, bo between two books, there's a wrinkled sheet of paper. Read it. That ridiculous author. Who does he think he is? I went to his series for advice, right? The maze closet closest to me only has six movements to it, but his expertise couldn't even help me. A clue for a puzzle. To anyone who stumbles upon this, if you're ever stuck in a maze, the World of Mazes series will not be helpful. Take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Sounds like someone got upset. If you say so, more books. This place has a lot of books, but also silent. This red flower next to me is my friend. He doesn't say much though. Just because he's quiet doesn't mean he's bad, though. Actions speak louder than words, after all. Indeed, they do. You seem shocked about all the talking plants. What? Have you never played a video game before? No, I haven't, actually. <laughs> plants talk all the time. If it eases your sanity, you can just pretend we're all not saying anything at all, and your mind just suddenly knows whatever it is that we're telling you. That actually might make it worse, now that I think about it. <laughs> yes. Clippers. We'll take the clippers. Uh, I've heard that no one can leave the, the parts of the dream they're designated to. It's like there's a barrier or something blocking them. There is a small little space that's like an overlap between two dreaming areas, though. Almost like a place for the two to mingle. We're not coming in one of those areas, though, so how did you get here? Because I am the author of this coma. Observations are scrolled onto little sticky notes. And all these red flowers here are the kind of jerks. Are kind of jerks. Oops, don't tell them I said that, though. Sometimes I get mangled up with my words, just like then and there. 
it's dead. Oh, poor thing. Poor plant. Let's see what's going on over here. Save again. Let's see what's going on the right side. Ooh. Ooh. Someone's sobbing. The girl is sobbing on the floor, covering her eyes. Where are they? Where did you take my eyes? I don't have your eyes. Is... Is someone there? Oh, please help me. I may have something to help. Try to clip the flowers out. Hey, you sure about this? I've got a bad feeling. It should be fine. Hold still, miss. Huh? Got the roses. Ooh. Well, she stops sobbing. The mother gazes intently at you. A wanted person. All except one name has been crossed out with red ink. Ooh. Wanted. Beatrice. Reward. An eye adjusted to yourself. Hmm. What are you doing here? You've already missed the extraction for mother. Unless, of course, you want to be part of the extraction too. No. You can't escape the day flower and flesh once it's come as one. Jeez, Keiko, what kind of dreams are you having? That's what I'm thinking. What on earth is going on? But we have the roses. I'm not sure what else to do for that little girl. Aside trying to find a way to get her eyes back. Hmm. Anything up here? Or is this the locked door? Nope, this one's openable. And this here is a page. I just finished this collection. But it turns out the author has been writing nothing but lies. Now what am I going to do with all of these? I have no idea. There's a book titled The World of Mazes Part 1. Read it. You flip to a random page. Anytime you go left, up should be followed immediately. Hmm. Once you're in the middle, always go left. If the middle is made up of two movements, then only go left once. Hmm. Flip to a random page. When going through mazes, never begin with the left side. If you start off right, you'll be at the end of no time. Hmm. Rarely will you ever go down. If you have to, you'll only do it near the end. Yes. Random page. Once you get past the middle portion, never go up. Then how do you actually go from the middle to the up portion then? Part 6. Flip to a random page. Any good maze maker knows to never use the same consecutive direction. So repeated moves are under no circumstances permissible. Number 7. Statistically, all end... All mazes end with a down movement. Oh, this is just a maze in itself, rather than going from one end to another. I don't know why I was thinking that. It's impossible to tell the amount of moves to a maze. Furthermore, this series is the only one with maze advice, so you've heard it from the best. And the worst. <laughs> if you're the only one who have done it, then you're both the best and the worst, because you're the only one there. But it always depends on which way you look at it. So we've got some roses. So can we do anything with the roses once we go over here? Hmm. Can't put them there. Really? We can't extract it from there. I understand your lovely story. Hmm. What else is next? Silent. A lot of silences. So I would have thought that Rose would go in where that dead plant was, but that's not to be the case at all. So this door must be the maze in itself. Great. Isn't that just fantastic? We need to do some figuring out if we're going to make it out of this place. 
Yeah, I know, it's the same place. Ah, back here. No problem, we can try it again. So we need to make ourselves a large amount of notes. Up. Okay, so up. And then the next one will be. So left, down, R, R, up. Maybe another up? Oh, hey now. That's good. Hey, nice job, Keiko. Thank you. There's a little bit of an enigma of how we got here, but we're all good with a jar of eyeballs in them. Can we take one of these for our sobbing friend? Or is there no... Oh, one focus on you. How dare they do that? Something here. hear. Books about vision and eyes adorned with shelves. Skim through one. In fact, it's not the eyes themselves that give sight. The optic nerves behind them must be in working order so that one can see. However, photoreceptors that are within each eyeball are responsible for reflecting backlight and allow people to see colours. Every eye is different, so minor differences between two people's photoreceptors can mean they see colour completely different from one another. When someone to, so where someone to get an eye transplant, it is definitely possible that once fully healed, they see things they once would not be able to see or vice versa. If it were a matter of returning one's eye back to them, however, this would obviously not be the case. So, what does that have to do with the overall lore of this story and everything like that? I love the character sprite, by the way. There are jars of both green and brown eyes. Take one. I have no idea. Don't know which eye colour these um, eyes are for. Inside the jar, there are a floating pair of blue eyes. Hmm. Jar of eyeballs in them. Eyeballs. 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 Good. Oh, hold on. Uh, books about the brain and dreams of all the shells. We'll skim through one. Have you ever heard what is commonly called a fever dream? Though there are lots of definitions, typically they are dreams that spiral out of reality. Making no sense. They differ from I, everyone. I, everyone. <laughs> However, they all occur within deep slumber, usually from exhaustion or overall sickness. The lighter one sleeps, typically the more realistic dreams become. They lie on a spectrum from the most absurd dreams occurring deep, so occurring during the deepest of slumber to a most sensible happening when one sleeps the lightest. Comas are very fascinating. Not lovely, but fascinating. Victims who have recovered from one either have lucid dreams or remember nothing. However, in this specific case of dreaming, many have reported outside sources affecting their comatose dreams. Loved ones who visited and would speak to the patient while in a coma have been known to reach the individual in their dream. Though it doesn't usually affect much, knowing that is an ability that could prove useful in the future for victims. Am I really in a coma? I wonder if there is anyone trying to talk to me. Hmm. Sure there is. Being monitored. Ah, that's locked. Okay. So there's no clues in the game as to which eye colour I should take. And there's no clover nearby, so I can't really save. Hmm. Yep, we're back here. The maze is gone. Lovely, lovely. Still keeping that as reference for the future for the full game. So let's go back through here. Do you remember your eye colour, miss? Hmm. Blonde hair. 
Once it posts, sir. Uh... So that is definitely not brown. Hmm. It's either green or blue, but I can't really tell what it is. It's like, the light is very fade on that part, so it is hard for the player to solve it. And I adjust it to yourself. Hmm. Very interesting. Either blue or green. Definitely not brown. We'll take the blue eyes because there's no mention about heterochromia for our beloved character over there. So we'll see if these blue eyes are up to the task of being able to be returned to their former self. Are these yours? Give her the blue eyes. Excuse me, we have these eyes for you. Huh? You do? Be careful, Keiko. I'll wait out here for you. Okay. I need you to hold still again, miss. And... There you go. I... I can see again. Keiko, you're the one who helped me? Even after everything, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Keiko, really, I can't thank you enough. I'm myself again. She knows my name too. Ah, are you done, Keiko? Sorry, I get real queasy with that sort of stuff. Aren't you a robot? How can you get sick? I uh, well, her admittedly can't explain that. Ah, are you with Keiko? I suppose I should... Uh, can I help you? You're not from here. I can tell so you really are a robot, huh? You know, I prefer being called an artificial intelligence, if anything. Kind of in the name, after all. Your title matters not. Whatever person created you made you quite flawed, robot. Excuse me? Why the sudden hostility? You of all things should know the dangers here, no? I mean, yeah. And yet you stay behind while Keiko gives a stranger their eyes back. Had I not returned to normal, I might have been more inclined to put her to eternal rest. The hell's your deal? We just helped you, lady. I know. And I'm appreciative of Keiko's help. But if you intend on escorting her back to the waking world, you should take that threat of being here more seriously and maybe value her life a bit more. Hey, I... I... She's really telling him off. Tell her to knock it off. Let it go. We just gave you your eyes back. You don't have to harass him. Keiko? I... You're right. That was very unlike ladylike of me. I apologize, Keiko. I think I'm just still shocked, I suppose, from you here from you being here and helping me. I should have controlled my emotions better. And I apologize to you too, sir. I sincerely hope you can forgive my rude behaviour. I don't know what came became of me. Keiko, would it be right if I gave you something as thanks for restoring my sight, that is? I would have been lost without your help. Um, I suppose. It's something the matter. You just seem quite friendly towards someone you barely know. Not to mention, you just got through telling off Sai. Now you want to give me something. Well, wouldn't you say that's quite typical of me? She doesn't get that. Wait. Do you not recognize me? Am I supposed to? I get it now. You must have really hurt your head to have forgotten me, huh? I don't worry about it. I do know you quite well, actually. Though you don't seem to know me. You know what? I'll probably face a few consequences of it, but I want you to find a way to remember me, even if it means waking up. Consequences? Are you taking orders from someone? I can't say. Sorry, 
Just letting you two go is breaking enough rules. I see. That's rather kind of you to let us go at your own risk. Thanks, miss. Call me Beatrice. And it's me thanking you guys. Ah, I should have known your name because of the poster. Ah, that's right. Received the eye-shaped key. Take this. I suppose I guard it so you wouldn't be able to wake up. It'll help you leave this place. Thank you. Say, Beatrice, do you want to come with us? To escape wh wh whoever is giving you orders? I can't, sadly. I'm a dream creator in this area, so I can't leave it. I won't lie. I'm a little scared of the possibility of disappearing, but if you remember me, I'm happy to do it. I'm sure the me in the waking world will appreciate it too. I'll be going now. Good luck, Keiko. How will you just suddenly disappear, though? Oh, just like that. Okay. <laughs> we should get going too, right? Say? Sai? Thanks for defending me. Hmm? She did make a good point, though. I'll have to work on being more responsible for you. Say? We should get go we should keep going then. We should keep on commencing this journey. Stairs. I will gaze back. Gaze back at the horror. A memory. Where where am I? Looks like this looks like a younger version of yourself. Say where are you? The person, she looks like you. And that's Beatrice, I remember. Or a younger version of Beatrice. Excuse me. You're transparent. Hello? Who are you? Leave me alone. They can't see me, and I can't even speak. Are you crying? No, I'm not. Shut up. Mommy says nothing gets solved by crying. Cheer up. What do you know? I said leave me alone. But you don't have to be all alone, silly. This is my mommy's garden. I come here to help the flowers feel better. Enough I can help the flowers, maybe I can help you too. So what's wrong? This isn't your garden. It's my family's. Your mom just works here. I... Now go away. Liam just fought with me and I don't want to be and I want to be alone. Who's Liam? My brother. What did you fight about? He started annoying me and wouldn't let me play with the toy he just got. We kept fighting and then I bit him. How tragic. That's another version of you. One that was you in the past. Now he says he won't travel with me and ran to tell mum on me. You need to stop crying. Excuse me? Just say sorry, then he'll travel with you. If you keep crying on your own, he's only going to hate you more. Say sorry now and you'll be friends again. Who are you? I'm BB, short for Beatrice. Who are you? Keiko. I'll... I'll go say sorry to Liam. Thanks, BB. Yay! Then we can play after. Play? Yeah! Now that I know your name, we're friends now. And friends play together. Alright, BB. That sounds fun. Yay! Let's go! That was me. What's going on? What is this? Another version of ourselves. Again? Keiko, are you in here? A similar scenario. Of course you're in here. You know, staring out there isn't going to help anything. If a mistress catches you, you're in for a real lecture. You mean my room? I know, I just can't help it though. What's happened to your eyes? You're not, you're not still thinking about it, are you? Perhaps. Uh, Keiko, you have to let it go. It's been years and it was just a childhood fantasy. He even said himself that he didn't want to do it anymore. 
You know I don't believe that. No one just says that and then does what he did. Even if he doesn't mean it, Keiko, you can't just leave for, him's sake, for his sake. There's not a single person alive out there. How do you know? How do I know? Keiko, you've looked out that window for years. You know that no one could survive out there. That's why we're in here in the first place. You say that because that's what we've been told. No one has ever let us try. Because they know what's best for us. They're not just going to let a girl go out and do that. I... I'm so sorry, Keiko. That was uncalled for on my part. Beatrice, you're my only friend left. I... Don't want us to fight. If you leave me, I'll really be all alone. I I don't want us to fight either. I'm sorry. I know how much it means to you. I should have been more sensitive. Do forgive me, Keiko. <sighs> it's okay. I know you didn't mean it that way. Hey, you know what? I'll make it up to you. Let's go to the kitchen and I'll make us some tea. Before the mistress finds us here. Preferably. I think I'll enjoy that. Thank you, BB. My pleasure, Keiko. Actually, I have an idea. I'll race you. Whoever loses makes the tea. Some friendly competition, eh? Just like old times. You're on. Something along those lines. That was definitely me and Beatrice. We only want to protect you, sweetie. Now be a good girl and stay. What the? Hello? Earth to Keiko. Say, you're back yet? You just kept staring for a while there. I did. Yeah, what happened? I saw something. No, I went somewhere. Really? You've been here the whole time. I'm not exactly sure what it was. It was in a garden with that giant tree and... Beatrice and another me were there, but they knew each other. Another you? It's, it's hard to explain. It was like I wasn't really there, and this other me was the real one. That sounds like a memory. Yep. A memory? I suppose that would make sense. I can't think of any other explanation for it. But why did the mother give it to me? Yeah. Beatrice did mention that you're not recognizing her. You seen her again like that probably means you remembered something. That's awesome news, really. That's some progress for us. We're fortunate to have just uh, to have come across one. Who knows how many others we can find here? That would be a good thing for me, right? Are you going to continue on? We can keep a lookout while we're going. Yeah. We sure can. I want to post it all except one day which we cross out with red ink. That's Beatrice. Why did Beatrice? L O I. Did Mother give you a blessing? How lucky for you. But this is unfair, she gave it to a human. It knows. Be a good girl now. I will be one. Don't you worry about me. You creepy eye. I've got my eye on you. Let's see what's going on over here then. So, we've got ourselves an eye-shaped key and a rose. We still haven't found anything to do with these things over here. Is there any way to remove said stuff? Hmm? Most of the text eligible, we can make up the word danger on one. Hmm. Nothing there. Danger. What kind of danger do you think then? Dead. Well, it can't be a danger if it's dead. Excuse me. I'm getting tired all of a sudden. Been at this for nearly an hour now. <laughs> oh. Beatrice. Diovi, you have to let them go. Oh, and why would I ever do that? 
she's not as you say she is. You have to give her a chance. A chance to what? Kill us all? She knew very well I could have killed her at any point, but chose to save me. We should return the favour. Silence. I will hear no more of it. I won't let us die any time soon just because you feel obligated to return a favour. Don't give me that. You've never done this in the name of justice, so why should I believe you're concerned for us now? You can't keep us up forever, Dio Diova. It has to end sometime. I said, silence. I will not take this heresy so casually, dear Beatrice. Keiko, I'm trying my best for you. I hope this way you can forgive me. Hmm. That representation is trying to bide us some time. Oh, hold on. Um, it looks like the key Beatrice gave us will fit. Unlock the door with the eye-shaped key? Absolutely. The door has been unlocked. And we got ourselves a new scenario. What a cute little room. Got a place for us to rest and everything. I suppose. You want to... We have been going non-stop so far. I think you deserve one. Do I want to take a break? He sure looks eager to. Yeah, fine by me. Awesome. My legs are killing me. Again, he's a robot. How? Oh, well. Phew. Man, I feel better already. That's good to hear. <sighs> There's something wrong. Huh? Well, nah, not really. Just finally able to take a break and think about everything, I guess. I see. We see, see. Actually, say, Keiko, do you trust me yet? Huh? This again. Why is he so hung up on it? I'm sorry to trust you. It's admittedly a slow process, but I think I am. Wait, what? Really? That's really awesome. You mean it? I really do. I, well, besides as part of my job, it feels good to be trusted by someone, if only a little. It's a new feeling for me. Well, I don't know much about you still, but I'm starting to warm up to some of the parts I do now. Yeah, I wish I knew more about myself too. I only started shaping into someone when I began searching for you. Before then, I was blank with no thoughts, no memories, no personality either. That's terrifying to think about. But I suppose I was like that too, when I first woke up here. I've been lucky enough to have books and art to shape me all this time, though. That being said, despite being here and learning, I still feel like I'm nothing but a program. What is he talking about? He's not nearly robotic as I originally expected him to be. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. You notice how Beatrice talked with you and hesitated with me, right? Yes. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm obviously the odd one out in this dream. You're the anomaly. Well, you are. That's just how it is, though. Everyone here can tell you're not from my mind, so they'll of course treat you differently. But you're supposed to be here to help me, right? So who cares what they think? You, you're kind of weird, you know. You know? Have you always been like this? What do you mean? I guess I didn't expect that coming from you, is all. From someone who's normally so quiet. Even so, I think something inside me wants to fit in and be a real person. Okay, Monica. I know it can't happen, though. I'll just have to get over it. <laughs> Whoa. Was that a laugh? Are you okay? You haven't laughed a single time since I've met you. I was getting worried you didn't know how. That wasn't even, like, that funny after all. Kind of sad for me, actually. You're so anxious for a robot. Sorry, for an AI. You say you feel out of place and like a robot... But I have to disagree. It takes a human personality to be like, to be that insecure. Insecure? That's what makes me human to you? Nothing else? Part of it. Whatever, it got a laugh out of you. It feels nice to see you laugh in a place like this. You're normally so serious. Really? If me smiling and laughing means that much to you, I suppose I'll try it more often. Though it's strange. I'm not used to it. It must have been forever since I've last smiled. By all means, I like seeing a different side of you. It's a nice improvement. 
if refer refurbishments go that way. You know, I've been thinking, from what it sounds like, you've seen a memory with you and Beatrice. You haven't seen anything else like that yet, right? No, not yet. Man, what was it like, seeing a memory? Hmm, well, it's hard to explain, actually. Number one, I'm transparent, and number two, I see a different version of myself, a smaller version, and then a more similar version. It certainly does, it certainly didn't feel real. Though I could see in here, I couldn't feel anything, like I wasn't actually there. A spectrum, a ghost, a spirit. And above all else, I feel a pit in my stomach, like I wanted to cry, but I'm not sure why I felt it. Hmm, that's interesting. After it ended, I felt different. Like I changed. Well, you have become a bit more talkative since then. It's like I can see more of your personality now. Really? I guess I have been talking more. Yeah, do you feel anything like that when you look at me? Huh? What do you mean? Well, I suppose to be someone you know, you haven't acted like you do though, so I assumed you also don't remember. No, you just sighed to me, nothing else. Strange. I wonder, since you have memory problems, maybe the reason you're in this coma to begin with also affected your memory. That's unsettling, yeah it is. Is that really the case? What happened to me? You think so? I think it's just another goal for us while we're here. Find your memories. Find out why you're here. Wake up. Easy. Maybe the journey... Uh, sorry, makes the journey way more interesting. And I'm sure whatever I can be used to help f future comatose patients. What a positive way to look at that. If I were here alone and before to that, I probably would have just given up out of fear. You know what? I don't want to waste another minute. And yet you insist on taking a break. Let's get going. We've got memories to recover. If you insist. So we've got more things to do then. What the? Something along the lines. Okay, folks, so that's gone on for a bit longer than I anticipated. I'm not sure how much there is left in this demo, but thank you all so much for watching, guys. This has been it for the demo of Keiko, and we shall see each other in the next time of Keiko. Oh, this is a little bit more discolored in here. But thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see each other in the next time of Keiko. Have a lovely day, and take care of yourselves.